Hi, me again. Just a very quick video to let you hear a bass I currently have for sale on basschat.co.uk. This is a GSP five string, um, as I think you'll agree, very much in the style of a Music Man Stingray five, but made by a UK guitar maker called Graham Pollard, who I know very little about, but uh, if the markings on the back of the headstock and anything to go by, this one's made in 2002. So for a nearly 20 year old bass, it's in great condition, a few tiny dings on the body and a couple of very small chips just on the back of the, the neck on the lower edge there, which you can barely feel. So great condition. Um, when I got it, it had a bit of neck dive, which I hate. So I took the shallow machines off and put some hip shop ultralights on it, which seems to have solved the problem nicely. It's 35 in scale, 18 millimeter spacing at the bridge, but that can be adjusted with the shallow roller saddles. Um, and it's got quite a wide nut, but 50 millimeters. So if you don't like the string spacing too crowded down at the nut, this will really suit you. It's a lovely thing. It's got a Seymour Duncan uh, bass lines pickup and Seymour Duncan three band EQ with treble middle bass and cut and boost. And then a three position toggle switch, which in the lower position is the sort of uh, standard Stingray parallel coil sound. Middle position front coil only, upper position series coil. So you get a lift in uh, overall output and a bit of a thicker tone in the series mode. Also, there's a push pull pot on the master volume, which gives you a sort of a slap tone, I think they call it on, on the Seymour Duncan website, which is where you get a low mid bump and it scoops out the upper mids to give you a, a, a general lift in output as well. So um, if you need to do your Louis Johnson licks, then you just pull the pot out and it boosts it for you. Very handy. So we'll have a listen to some of the tones now. I'm starting with the parallel position. Thank mm -hmm. you. 